It's been a summer packed with blockbuster hits. Tonight is pro football's turn on center stage as the NFL season is ready for a launch. Houston, you're clear for liftoff. We begin with the Houston Texans, the NFL's newest cast, set for the spotlight with an impressive leading man. David Carr was the first player selected in this spring's draft. Tonight, he and the Texans make their debut against one of the pillars of the pro football establishment. The New York Giants begin their 78th season, and their rich legacy grew even more last year when Michael Strahan broke the single-season sack record. Tonight, the big hits keep on coming as these two teams share top billing with a Hall of Fame class of 2002. Dave Casper and John Stallworth, two guys who handled everything thrown their way. Jim Kelly, who directed an out-of-this-world aerial assault. A premier defender who always trapped his prey. George Allen, a man whose deeds turned losers into winners. So it's big stars, new faces, and legendary performers. And my new teammate in the Monday Night Booth as ABC Sports presents the AFC-NFC Hall of Fame game. Welcome to Canton, Ohio, home of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. About an hour's drive south of Cleveland, and you're looking at Fawcett Stadium, filled to capacity tonight as the Houston, Texas break the seal against the New York Giants. For the first group, but he has the second group scripted and the third group scripted. Barber to the outside and walks in for the touchdown. Did you see that? That could have been an off-tackle play. Rich Soibler, his left guard, started to pull, and then he went inside, and Tiki Barber just dipped in there a little, and then, boom, just took it right to the outside. But Soybird is right here. He's pulling here, and you can see Tiki Barber. He just runs in there. He gets a little block right there and sees that there's no containment on that side, so he just runs it right in. Now Potchman for the point after. And the Giants would love to save that drive for a month from tonight when it counts against the 49ers in the NFL opener this year on a Thursday night. They go down the field 66 yards in 10 plays and make it look pretty easy. Barber for six. Johnny Lynn taking over for the departed John Fox, now the head coach at Carolina. Third and 10, it's fired into the arms of William Peterson at the 15-yard line, and then he brings it back to the 40 before he loses the ball, but the play is whistled dead before the fumble. And that was David Carr's first look at six defensive backs. We were looking at Johnny Lynn, and as we were looking at him, he substituted, put in six defensive backs. He has a double right here, but you see what happened? The receiver fell down, and that's... That's one of the things you always worry about when you're throwing on timing. If the receiver falls down, you're dead. So he had to carry Posey with that ball. First and 10 now from the 35-yard line, and here is Shockey again. And Shockey showing some great moves, staying in bounds. <laughs> and how about that for a forearm? Wow. Who does that remind you of? That's Mark Bavaro. Sure. Remember when the Giants were great? Look at Keith Hamilton's great and they're saying, that's what we want. We want an offensive guy that plays like a defensive guy. That's exactly what they want. Look at this. It's just a short out. Clap right there. Put his shoulder down. Runs through a face mask. And watch this right here. <laughs> just lower your shoulder and run over anything that's there. You know, you have a theory. Sometimes it's a lot easier to go through something than it is around it. Kevin Williams must have thought your bus came through. Yeah, that would be something with the bus right there. He is something, and, and he has the emotion too. I mean, and 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 it's a game to him, and it's fun, and 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 this is going to be big for the Giants this year. They're going to yeah, go because back. they never threw him the ball. I mean, Howard Cross was a was a great blocker and wasn't much a receiver, and then the last few years they just stopped throwing him the ball at all. Second and goal, and there is Shockey.
I think we've seen a couple of first round draft choices in the first half of this game tonight that are the real deal. And that's what you like inside that red zone. You know, you know the, 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 the big target there, they just let him go off the line. I mean, he's, he's the guy that from now on, when they see number 80 coming off the line, someone is going to bump him off the line and someone's going to cover him downfield. He has some emotion too, doesn't he? Yeah. And he's only been in camp a few days. Extra point by Pochman is good. You know, they have these these mini camps or these off-season camps, and he's only been in Melissa. He's just Ernie, of course, the general manager, willing to marry the owner of the team. And there is Graham going down, making the acquaintance of one Wesley Mallard. We talked about Mallard, the former Oregon Duck, a six-round draft choice. And when you talk to the coaches before a preseason game and you ask them about surprises and guys that, you know, come out of nowhere, last night Capers was talking about him. Yeah, and, and they really like Mallard. In fact, they have they have all 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 three rookie linebackers are in there now. Nick Grison is in the middle. Quincy Monk is outside, and Wesley Mallard is the other outside guy. The day in sports recap of this one as well, which still has 12:48 to go, and the Giants have the lead in the ball at their own 43-yard line. Terry Collins started the game, but it's been Jesse Palmer since. Midway through the first quarter, and Palmer airs it out. There's Jonathan Carter for the touchdown. 57 yards to the second-year guy out of Troy State, their fifth-round draft choice last year, his second long reception of the night. That's the old thing, speed kills, and Jonathan Carter, he just ran right by that coverage. He has, he has double coverage. It's a zone, and he just splits the two of them. Watch Carter. He's right here. He's on the line. He's right here. Now they start out there in a double type of thing. He starts to the inside and see they have a guy outside and the guy inside and he just runs right through him. Scott. One play. They go all the way. Matt Bryant for the extra point. Sean, Sean Payton. Sean Payton just said he called a pretty good one. He lined him up like in an eye formation outside and ran that touchdown pattern off it. 247 yards and two touchdowns. They get the playoff before the two-minute warning, and it is intercepted at the goal line. This is Clarence LeBlanc, and LeBlanc with an escort, and he will take it all the way to the end zone. Ninety-nine yards and a half. And that's one thing you say after you say you chuck it all the time. So why didn't you run it when you got right. down there? Right. I think Sankey just he's, he's just watching him all the way. Watch, he's in the shotgun here, and his his head turns immediately to his left. You see, and he just watches the receiver all the way. So what does that do? That brings the the. the defender to the inside and that's exactly what happened the block was right there he was reading the safety the free guy will read the eyes of the quarterback and he read his eyes all the way Pochman for the extra point make it Matt Bryant not Pochman so Sankey throws the pick and that's going to wrap it up for the Giants who turn it into a 17 point lead with a minute 43 left